Okay, so corporate stuff. Um, yes, FME can do all kinds of things with corporate databases, and we've got a sampling of them here. Mm. Um, in talking to folks, there's a lot of SQL Server out in the world. There's a lot of Oracle. Um, any in here that Postgres is? It, I started with Postgres. Uh, keeps on ticking. Um, Ingress, I think we saw a new a new member in FME. Yeah, Teradata in there for large corporate databases. Yeah, really. Take I mean, off. almost everyone. In fact, indeed, every one of these has a spatial side to them. Yes. Yeah. But we're not talking about that today. No. no. So uh, we're going to demo something here where we're going to update Oracle with results from a SQL Server query. And this is a bit stressful. So I'm going to first go and open an Oracle. Let's see. Oracle. Oracle. So we've got two databases here. Uh, we're going to be updating one of the databases, and we want it to, the other one to kind of synchronize. And so that's what right. going to So I'm going to look at this first. I've got a table here called Neighborhood, neighborhood Heritages. Okay. That's a mouthful. It's, a situa it's basically a summary of the... Um, Values are read from Oracle. We've got four features. Come on, baby. And um, there we have the average value of the and what neighborhood code it's in, what the neighborhood is, and the number of um, properties. I can sort it, of course. So let's sort it like that. And this is what's in my Oracle database right now. Okay. And um, what I'm going to do is uh, go out here, and I'm not going to save that. And I'm going to update the Oracle from this. Okay, so I'm going to use what's called a SQL creator. And we'll pop this open. This is one way, if you're a SQL person, and a lot of you are non-spatial people on this, you can do this sort of stuff. I'm going to go out here and execute this kind of a SQL statement. So I'm selecting the average land value as this by joining together a bunch of stuff, the property tax tables, the address tables, and the heritage, heritage sites know the addresses. The addresses are related to the tax records, and then I got the neighborhood codes as well that I'm grouping this all by. So it's an interesting aggregating uh, yes. SQL statement. Um, and whenever I'm doing SQL, I have, oh, sorry, I have all this stuff um, available. As well as this I can get the online reference. reference. If I click on that, it's bringing up help somewhere. Um, that's all good. And so, uh, that uh, lets me do that. And then I get in here these results which I put through FME. And one thing I'm doing here is checking if the neighborhood code is blank. Right. Because we can't, uh, we don't like that. That, in fact, is an error. And um, I'm going to log that. And now I'm running it into, uh, what I'm doing here is a SQL executor where I'm actually written my own update statement. I, you know, I haven't done one of these in years. Uh -huh. And it was fun to, uh, to do an update statement after all this time. So I'm updating my table inside of Oracle. And so should we be so bold as to go ahead and run this? Let's go for it. So we're pushing, in this case, work down to SQL. Five things came through. Um, we, uh, let's see, we... Uh, One of them was invalid, obviously. Right. Filtered out. Right, and we could uh, probably even take a peek at that in here because we did log it. Oh, yeah, there, there it is. There, so this one has no neighborhood. Right. So there's a null neighborhood yeah. floating around. and uh, yeah. There's some properties there, but nobody knows where they belong there'd to. There'd be an opportunity for someone, perhaps. Actually, maybe your friend Peter Funk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when my voice is going to go, I only got one more demo. Only one left. But really, you're showing the ability to synchronize two databases. Yes. Do some filtering. Um, yeah. That's... Right. So what we should do now is reopen that same Oracle table in a new tab. Here we go. With luck, these numbers are different. Yes. So, okay, Mount with. Pleasant... Let's uh, let's go look in here. We're going to flip between here. So Mount Pleasant has one at 19.9, and now what is it? Oh, it changed. Okay. And I'm relieved to see that. Um, so 7.23 in the bottom row for downtown. Yep. Ah. 7.25, and it changed as well. So proving. <coughs> so we just did, and we've done webinars. There's an entire course on using um, spatial databases and yes. non-spatial. Yes. Either way, really. Yes.